Welcome to Museum Connect. In this project, the Wiltshire Museum, funded by the Wessex Museums Partnership, has been able to invite local artists to make a creative response to objects from our collections and to create these free video resources so that you can get creative whether you can visit us at the moment or not. So this Museum Connect video is not inspired by an object or a painting, but by a building, the Assize Court in Devizes, which is just behind me. The Assize Court was designed by architect T.H. Wyatt in 1835 and is a grey two-star listed building which has been unused for over 30 years. In its day, it heard court cases and civil cases and the building is split into two courts on either side with spaces for the jury and cells beneath each of the courts. In 1971, the Devizes Assize Court became a third tier Crown Court. In this video, local artist Jane Scott is going to ask you to go and look at the Assize Court afresh look at some of its features and find a way to get creative. But first, let's find out a little bit more about the building. Hello, um, I'm Martin Nye, Chair of Trustees of the Wiltshire Archaeological and Natural History Society, the charity who own and operate the museum here in Devizes. I'm also a trustee of the Devizes Assize Court Trust, or DACT for short, um, a charity that after a long campaign led by Lord Lansdowne in 2018 purchased this wonderful building, the Assize Court, with support from the Wiltshire Historic Buildings Trust and a further donation from the local resident, Robert Hunt Grubb. Um, the aim of DACT is to restore the historic Assize Court, to bring it into community use and to make it the new home for the Wiltshire Museum. Um, we appointed the architects Purcell earlier this year after an extensive competition and they're in the process of developing ideas for the restoration and adaptation of the building and are planning a new extension fronting onto the Kennet and Avon Canal. The brief we gave them um, outlined requirements for exhibition galleries, a cafe, shop and museum storage, as well as community spaces, meeting rooms and a large event and lecture space. We hope to get the balance right between preserving and enhancing this wonderful old building to tell the story of its original function and creating an exciting and distinctive modern extension which complements the old so that the enlarged building delivers a memorable visitor experience to the wide range of people from this community and further afield who will be coming for a variety of reasons, whether it's a school visit, to research the library and archive, to visit the museum and its collections for a community or a private event or just to come for cafe. So thank you to Martin, but what we want you to do now is to think beyond what the Assize Court used to be and what it is now and to reimagine aspects of it. So over to our artist, Jane Scott, to give you some ideas and inspiration. Hi there, my name's Jane Scott. Um, I live in Holt, not too far from Devizes. Um, I'm actually a potter and an artist. Um, the Wiltshire Museum have asked me to show you people out there how to make some interesting marks on a piece of paper. I know that sounds simple, but, um, and it is, it is simple, but a lot of people are really frightened of the blank page. Me too. We all experience the same, you know, fears and anxieties around that kind of thing. And I want to show you how super easy it can be to just get started with making a mark, with making a line on a sheet of paper without worrying um, at all about that, okay? Um, our point of reference is going to be a size court. Um, if you live in Devizes, you'll know about this building. I love this building. Um, every time I drive into Devizes, I just think, wow, I wonder what that's going to become. I love that building. I want to live there. Um, turns out that the Wiltshire Museum at some point in the future are going to be renovating that building and housing their fantastic museum there. So um, that's going to be a lovely starting point for us, you know, to, to draw from. That's what we're going to be looking at. And I'm just going to guide you step by step um, to, to make some weird and wonderful marks on a piece of paper. It's going to be completely non-competitive. It's going to be fun and that's super important and hopefully it will also um, make you feel a little bit more like you actually can make a mark on a piece of paper and just learn to appreciate some different qualities to the mark making 
Hi there, I'm going to show you some of these weird and wonderful drawing techniques now. Um, you're going to need things like felt tip pens, a little bit of poster paint if you've got it, some charcoal, even some barbecue charcoal. We're going to just really try and do some interesting stuff with things that you would find at home, okay? The first technique is called continuous line drawing. The rule with this type of drawing is that you put your pen on the paper and then you do not take it off again, okay? You're not allowed to lift your pen off, even though you really, really want to. I'm going to be looking at this lovely scrolling at the top of the columns of, of um, a size court. I'm gonna quickly give you a demo. You put your pen on the paper and you do not lift it off. So I'm coming along the top here. I'm going to come around and do one of these gorgeous, lovely scrolls like this. Okay, but the idea is I really want to lift my pen off the paper because I kind of want to get to the other side of the piece of paper, but I'm not letting myself. And what you get is a particular quality to your drawing when you don't lift your pen off the paper. It's just a funny way of drawing, okay? Um, what, might, what do I need to do? Oh, there's some weird, is there any? Oh, I'm doing it all in a bit of a weird way. But this is, the, this is the thing. So it's a bit like a puzzle. It kind of becomes, well, how can I um, get this to look in any way, <laughs> in any sort of way like the thing I'm looking at if I can't take my pen off the paper? But you just do. Give it a go, continuous line drawing. I'm not gonna spend ages doing any of these techniques. I just wanna get through quite a few different techniques so that you guys can have fun doing it at home. Okay, the next one. <clears throat> if you've got a load of felt tip pens at home, why don't you try grabbing a handful? Oh my gosh, look, I've got marker pens. This is gonna be a challenge. I'm gonna look at this drawing here. Um, this image of a size court. Whoa. Okay, so we're going for it. So you can see, you would never get this using any other technique, okay? It's so weird trying to draw with however many, I don't even know how many I've got. <laughs> it feels like quite a handful. These are the scrolls. These are the columns. You know, I'm not worried about really what it looks like, but I tell you what, it's quite good fun drawing like this. I'm enjoying it, and that's the main thing, okay? So there you have it. Loads of felt tip pens. Please do give it a go. I bet you've all got some old felt tips lying around somewhere at home that you can get out and just have a bit of fun with, okay? Right, one more. Find yourself a big fat crayon and starts what I call scribble drawing, okay? So we're working really fast here and we're scribbling. So we're working very fast paced. We're really not worried about what it looks like. But what we are trying to do is just get a flavor of what we're seeing here, okay? We're scribbling it on fast and furiously, okay? It's fun. You don't need to worry about anything. Okay, so once you've had a little scribble, get yourself some poster paint and get your fingers involved, okay? So we're using, I'm just using white and um, like a lovely blue colour. See if you can use both hands at the same time and just go for it. Get yourself some water. See if you can actually rub that in a little bit. And what happens, and what happens is the wax resists the paint so let's see let's do a bit under here if i can just show you so i'm being quite loose <laughs> but what happens is once you get the water involved with paint okay um the actual wax markings behind um kind of the you know resist the paint so they you can still see them through the mark making okay I mean, this is super fast. <laughs> and what happens is you get a lovely quality. I don't know if you can see that, but the wax resist is coming through, okay? Give it a go. When was the last time you did finger painting? It's really good fun. And on top of wax crayon, 
you just get some really interesting marks. I know it doesn't look like a size core. It doesn't look like much. It's not about getting it to look like what it actually looks like in real life. It's about you finding new ways of making a mark on a piece of paper and enjoying the process, having fun, get your kids involved. Um, yeah, and just not feeling afraid of a blank page. I would urge you to go and sit outside a size court and actually see the building and not just work from a picture and just take along a load of felt tip pens and, you know, a bit of barbecue charcoal and some paper and just go for it and have fun with your mark making. I hope you enjoy.